Hello everyone and welcome to a 15 Shadow Moon Bureau Grounds with Thundering Only. I'm trying out a new build because I want to see how this is going to work. If I can get reversion on everyone and then get two Dream Breath Hots on everyone. So, I did sacrifice my ability to heal with Flame Breath for this. Maybe you want to wait for it to... Okay, we'll just go this. Slingy. Get reversion on everyone. And then try to Dream Breath. And one Emerald Blossom. And we'll see how much healing all these hots do. Might be a bit mana intensive to do it this way. But it works. See, now everyone's gonna tick up. Then I'll just put a Emerald Blossom here, get everyone back up. But that Dream Breath hot just lasts so long, it's nice. Oh. I did not realize that- oh. Okay, so those orbs will probably hit a lot harder on high keys. Let's just do this to let people get back up. You can go down here. Okay, let's wait till we get over here. The elements answer to me. And we're just going along. So I'm hoping with this build it'll give me a lot of versatility as well with the abilities I can use, you know, because Emerald Blossom will have nice utility. Ancestors of the Shadow Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, we should probably not stand on the runes. So let's try and see what we can get here, echo-wise. Okay, we managed to kill that. If it touches the boss, it does heal her. Okay, so now here is Dark Eclipse, but we have to stay on this. I just did a little rewind there. We'll do one Dream Breath to get thoughts on everyone. And then the next one we could do Zephyr. I just azure strike this right away to get it slowed. Okay, 
And let's put this in there. Stand on this thing. That guy always takes a bunch of damage. Except for that. The elements answer to me. Yes. Here's the spirit again. So I just want to keep the slow on it. Let's just get the dream breath hot on everyone. Then throw this. Back in there. Reversion, everyone. Drink a mana potion. I am kinda draining my mana a bit here. Okay. Very good, that was super smooth. I like it. Um, I'll just try to drink up some mana here. Okay, I know this stuff hits pretty hard, so I'm gonna go ahead and move. Let's put reversion on the tank. And then we'll put a pot on everyone. Marked by lightning! Now we have echo on everyone. And by the way, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Preservation of Ogre content, because I would really love to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark so we can start getting access to the community tab and a bunch of other things. Just trying to interrupt these guys. Just, you know, DPS these guys. Down. Try not to use Temporal Anomaly, cause I need to save some mana. Try and drink up. A bit before the next fight. At least get 50%-ish mana. Now rescue is really good for clearing those lightning debuffs. Now I still have the talent where Living Flame will hit an additional target, so it's still worth it in that department to do more empowers. Now this next boss is pretty simple, as long as you don't get hit by everything. So let me just put everything I have on the tank, because he's going to be the one taking the most damage here in a bit, whenever he does a frontal. There it is. We'll just put that in a blossom for him, plus the hots should work nicely. None escape the void. By and then let's do this. Three. Dang it! Three he faced me right when I was doing my thing! I was trying to put that, but everyone still has reversion. So we can just... <laughs> Get everyone back up here. And then let's put uh, the temporal thing on the tank. Oh, dang it, I thought Void Devastation was a frontal. Curse me for not knowing ability names.
Oh, I was in that? Well, we'll get an easy thing on everyone here, and then we'll get a nice... Oh, four seconds on that. Okay, now we'll get a nice double dream breath, except the echo fell off me. <laughs> Razgith! <laughs> she got cut off. Yeah. Let me just get you killed. <laughs> get a dream breath to get him back up. We're good to go. Yeah, that boss has very little damage output because there's not really group damage. Let's go ahead and put a dream breath spot. Dream breath dot on everyone. It's a just very nice passive healing. The elements answer to me. So the reason he's pulling this stuff here is because we need it for mob count. Let's get reversion on everyone and then throw a temporal anomaly. I know that uh, didn't get everyone, but I was concerned about the tank dying, so that's why I let it go a bit early. And try to chug some mana. Chug, chug, chug. Oh cool, they interrupted Necrog burst. Let's see. It only echo pulls on one guy. My perfect plan. Necrotic burst that I just interrupted from the spider is an AoE, by the way. Um, now you may be wondering why I'm using Temporal Anomaly when no one's taken damage. Well, let, let's just say I'm trying to just practice the ramp, you know? That guy just died too fast for me to do anything. He probably got targeted by a lot of things. Let's just try and get reversion on everyone and a dream breath hot on everyone. The elements answer to me! And I just have to try and dispel whoever has the uh, death venom haunt right away. If the tank gets in, it's not that bad. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't pull multiple of these spiders though. I'm pretty sure when you release, you spawn at Nalish. I don't know why he didn't just run back. Oh, the other guy got the res off first, I guess. Let me just heal up for him. Or uh, buff up for him. Now this tank is a demon hunter, so he should never get knocked off because he has wings.
And demon hunters, I've noticed, have really good self-healing. Like, I barely have to heal them. Because they just heal themselves. Marked by lightning. Now let's just put the dream hot on everyone there. I'll dispel the disease from him for now. And let's just put this orb in there just in case. I mean, I don't think anything bad is happening here. Alright, there we go. Now for wormy time. So now we won't have lust for the other guys. So that's gonna be good. Let's just get this on everyone. And then I'll just wait for my echoes to come back. Let me just stand in this to not get pulled. Oh, someone. Oh, two people got knocked off. Here, let me just. idea where the demon hunters are. They both got knocked off again? You no, know, demon hunters should be the ones that don't get knocked off. They have wings. The elements answer to me! Just put that dot out. Or hot out. I'm just stand in here. Yeah, I feel like they didn't scale some of these things right. Because these bosses, their damage does not feel that high. And this is a 15, keep in mind. We just do our normal rotation, fire breath, and just spam living flame. Maybe we just keep the dream breath dot on. Put an emerald blossom there just to top off the tank. Man, the bouncing emerald blossoms can be so good sometimes. Like, I know it's like all RNG, but it still feels good when you get like a chain of like three or four emerald blossoms. Well, let's try and get a reversion ramp here. The elements answer and then... to me. We'll get our dream breath ramp here. So now everyone should be good for a bit. I forgot I had that, but it's okay. The dream breath pot is keeping us alive. Let's try to watch who got it. Okay, I'll need some. Try and get some mana up for this. Okay, are they gonna pull one at a time?
Let me just Zephyr this right away. And Temporal Anomaly. I don't know why they're freaking going in this corner here. Can't heal you if you LLS me by going weird places. This is so bad. So this is going to be fun here because of that pulsating AoE damage. Kill it. The elements answer to me. Well, I'm not sure how we were able to just run through the wall like that. You're not supposed to. I want to get everyone up here. This is fun to do with only 3 DPS, or I mean 2 DPS. This isn't how you're supposed to do the mechanic, by the way, guys. You're supposed to, like, get one shot if you go through the wall, so I'm not sure how we are doing this. I think Blizzard did not scale it. So, um, don't do what we're doing here. The people are being lazy and just tunneling boss is what they're doing. It's so funny that, that they broke this mechanic that much. Yay, we did the dungeon. 
but no chest spawn because Blizzard hasn't programmed that in yet. Let's see, the overall is 16. Whoa, Dream Breath doing 5 million! Well, I guess that combination I've discovered works really well. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Preservation Evoker content.